What's up my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl from the 314 coming at you from the 770 and I have another fun Cheetah Diva adventure. Okay, most people know this about me but I don't think I've ever expressed it on camera before. I am a nerd. Well, a black nerd or blurred to be more precise. I grew up reading comics, Marvel, DC, whatever I could put my hands on, I read it religiously. I didn't really follow comics a lot when I became an adult because, you know, I had bills, responsibilities, and, you know, stuff to pay. So instead of buying comic books, I, you know, I did the grown-up thing, you know, and bought shoes. Now, black superheroes are at the forefront of the revolution in cosplay and comics and movies. You know, the success of Black Panther of last year kind of kicked the door down. And I mean, I've always known who Black Panther was. I've read it when I was younger. And, but it's really nice to see some of these black comics be discovered by people and these wonderful characters being um, cosplayed and discussed. Everybody across the spectrum, black, white, Asian, Native American, Latinos, they are really getting into cosplay and the comics and that's, that's always a good thing. One of the shows that I'm currently watching is Black Lightning, which comes on the CW at 9 o'clock Eastern. They've been on a hiatus for about three weeks and I didn't, I've been feeding. Oh my god, I can't even stand it. Uh, the show actually starts Chris Williams, who if you remember back in the day, he played Scooter on Living Single. Now, um, Scooter was cute, but Jefferson Pierce, whew, oh my god. You would never mistake him for a scooter now, would you? <laughs> One of my favorite characters, and I didn't think I would like him that much, but Tobias Whale is actually my favorite character whatsoever. At first, I was kind of horrified because that is cold-blooded and ruthless on a whole nother level. As time has passed, I kind of see the twisted, psychotic genius that he is. So, Crondon is one of my favorite characters on that show. Um, from the James Charles palette, we're gonna use B, Playground, uh, Escape, maybe a touch of Spooky, and I'm kinda on the fence as to whether or not I'm going to use that flashback color on my brow bone, but we'll see. Okay, so the base for my eyes, I'm using uh, ColourPop's No Feel Concealer in the color of one. When I want the colors to kind of pop out, this is what I use. People talk about how if you don't use a eye primer instead of using a concealer that the makeup doesn't work off this palette. I have not had that problem whatsoever, so let's just get into it. For my cut crease, I am going to use an eye primer. My favorite is the Crayon Case Washable Eye Stick. I'm 
like how the Too Faced chocolate gold color went with this, so I'm gonna go with that one, and I also might go with this one. I'm gonna pop that flashback color right into my bra bone. I mean, the color up there is almost sort of kind of white anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and complete that little section. foundation I'm going to go with ELF's Flawless Finish Matte Foundation in the color of Deep Chocolate. This has quickly become absolutely one of my favorite foundations. But I have to work with it quick because it does draw down matte. Concealer, I'm going to use Revolution Makeup in the color of 12. I thought this was too light at one point, but I was wrong about it. It blends in pretty nice. I'm going to use Laura Mercier to set. I'm going to put that pretty blue that I put on my lid off to um, the one side under my uh, waterline. I can't think of the name of it for some reason, but. Gel liner, I'm going to use my favorite standby, Maybelline Eye Studio. I want to use a smaller brush. I'm not sure why I'm using this one. I'm going to use a smaller brush. I think that'll get in the way I want it to. Oh, yeah, that's much better. This is the one that actually came with the um, iStudio. I just, I still never use it. But this is really, really good if you want to get detailed on your waterline. This is Makeup Addictions Pigment. It's called Skylight, I believe. And I'm just going to pull that all the way over. I'm also going to put a little of that skyline on my eyelid right here where I put the lighter blue. I think it'll look really cute. Get back on there. That stuff will be everywhere. I'm going to go back into the James Charles palette and use that 10% off. I 
so I put the concealer, I'm going to put my venting blotting powder there. Again, that's that's not the purpose of this, but it brightens my under eye really good. For my blush, I'm going to go into the Sephora Spice Market palette. I'm just going to dab that right down. I'm going to use the highlighter from that palette on my cheeks. I'm going to use ColourPop's Lux Matte Lipstick. Appy. And then I'm going to follow that up with the Kathleen Lights Twinkling Lights collection. This is Night Light. It's really glittery, and that's kind of what I like about it, but also dislike about it. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, put my lashes on, and I'll be right back. You, you don't have to tell me, it's dope. Here's what I forgot about using <laughs> the different colors to blend. I forgot when you blend blue and yellow together, they make green, so that's why I have a little green up there. Stay in school, kids. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this series. I can't wait to see how far I can go with it. This was a lot of fun to do. Um, this is me letting my nerd side come out just a little bit and wow, I really like the combination here. So, love it. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun with it and I hope it inspires you to reach out and reach past that nerd feeling that you have. We're all nerds. Just acknowledge it. Embrace it love it so let me know what you think of this down in the comments and write down who you think i should do uh in the upcoming weeks i know i have maybe six or seven that i have off the top of my head that i want to do but if there's somebody you want to see and if it's something i can duplicate yes i will be more than happy to until next time until next video this is your cheetah diva signing out See you when I see you. Bye-bye.